happy Thursday, everybody. We're at Universal City Walk. I think we might go to Halloween Horror Nights. I'm not sure. This was totally an unplanned trip. Went to work. Knew that other people were coming down here today. Decided to come down. So, these are trunk clothes. And in the meantime, I didn't bring a little piece of paper with a phone number on it to be able to text somebody um, that sent us mail that we were gonna be here tonight. So, I'm kind of at a loss. But hopefully we'll run into people tonight. We'll have a little bit of fun. If you don't want to see Halloween Horror Night stuff, you can shut the video off now. Literally all the bartenders are cheering on White Snake in the video. Yes! By the way, I'm at the Hot Rock Bar. Cadillac Bar. With a jewelry. Having a couple of beers and appetizers. Mega appetizer. Mega, mega, mega. So Hotel California came on. The whole place is just talking about Big Lebowski, quoting every line. It's a beautiful thing. Man, come on. I had a rough night and I hate the f***ing Eagles, man. Greatest band of all time playing while we're here. Not my favorite song, but you know. We got Eddie's guitar over there, Dave's boots over there. The repository is back that way. Haven't heard many good things. We are going into Universal Studios. Let's get some houses done. Halloween first, hopefully. Oh my. We're going to a blurry event 55. Van 55? Scare zone of the year? I think so. Check out this crowd for Academy of Villains. Nice. Oh, there's a motorcycle. to the motorcycle, two guys guarding a motorcycle. Hi, I'm Johnny Knoxville. Welcome to Vamp 55. The crowd has stopped to let Academy of Villains by. The crowd goes wild. Where's the guy? Let me take a selfie. MVP. MVP. There is a lot of people walking in on this street at the same time. I'm going in Halloween to see Dumpster Mike. 30 minute wait. Not for Express. That Curious George is so funny, but he really does not know how to drive. Look at that parking job. This bakery does not have an ATM for cupcakes outside. I shot him six times! So while we're waiting in line for Halloween, we are waiting in line with Emily from Geek Notice. You guys should subscribe to her channel. Check this link out, bling, or up here, bling, or maybe here, bling, it's somewhere. Only four and a half weeks in, and now finally projections are up on the wall outside of Halloween. We did Halloween. It was glorious. Glorious! Now, too many ancients. It's like a little representation of the green monster. Now it's the little monster. Back at Too Many Ancients, no story again tonight, just music. What the heck? They're playing like Blue Oyster Cult. So Hollywood Studios now has the Ark of the Covenant, but they have the suitably fine replica in the back of this pickup truck that has been used for like The Walking Dead and Daryl and everything for years, but it now has that chesty Ark. Yeah. I did too. Meh. I'm really bored of that house. It's fun. We're gonna go in Texas Chainsaw. This would be like my favorite house if it wasn't for the fact that we've had like really messed up runs every time through. Normal line an hour, this is the express line. What the heck? By the way, inside Tomb of the Ancients there is like a hidden Prince glyph. Um, the old Prince symbol. When he was the artist formerly known as Prince, it's in there. Trust me. So says Joey. Squeeze his head. There's projections outside of Texas Chainsaw Massacre now too. Four weeks into the event. Here comes 
the man in black. Scott, we came looking for you, buddy. I'm gonna be a stalker and say, that's Richard Christie from the Howard Stern Show right there. Waiting in line, Express. Behind the scenes, Emily vlogging. That house is fun. Joey hates fun. No. It's not good. I like it. It's not good. Shh, shh, shh. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Good. with a stuffed animal. Oh. By God, there's fire everywhere. And now there's not. Oh, get your marshmallows and hot dogs. Wait a second. This principal looks a lot different than he normally does. Uh, this is what the motorcycle is here for now. You just sit on it and take pictures. That's effective for scaring. I'm deaf. We will go in the crumpets. So just to be fair, we did Krampus just now. It was really bad. Really bad, like worst house that I think I've been through in weeks. So just being fair. Definitely not the cast and the effort that we normally see. <gasps> Ew, you do? Dead, 80 minute wait. The American Heart Story gets better every single time that we go through. Finish Walking Dead. I'm gonna say this in all seriousness, that is almost a damn near perfect house this year. I love it. It is always consistently good. Well, Horror Nights, we're out of here. And one quick thing before we leave. We get a lot of comments all the time about why didn't we record in houses. You're not allowed to record in the houses. If you record in the houses at Halloween Horror Nights in Orlando, they will take your ticket and revoke it. So, not worth it. Hey everybody, it is the following day. It's Friday afternoon actually. I'm trying to download the video from yesterday, edit the video, get it up for you guys. I did want to take just a minute to kind of um, at least 
put out there kind of the feelings that I've had lately um, about the channel and some of the, the stuff that we've pushed out, some of the feedback that we've gotten back. And I do want to say I know we've been really heavy on Halloween Horror Nights content lately and some of the stuff that, you know, folks may not like. Um, and the reality is, um, and I keep going back to this because so, I wanted to even apologize even for the video that you guys watched today. Um, it's kind of all over the place and it's kind of, you know, it's again Halloween Horror Nights. But the reality is, you know, we're kind of vlogging almost every day of our lives. And this day was spent at Halloween Horror Nights. Um, and we're recording the stuff that we want to do when we want to do it. Um, and not necessarily going out on the whim of what other folks want. And having said that, um, we have, you know, 50% of our audience that keeps saying, or more, bring us more Halloween Horror Nights, we can't get enough. And then we get the other folks that just say, oh my God, more Halloween Horror Nights. I get it. You can't please everybody. And I'm trying to please the masses, but more importantly, I'm trying to please me and my family. Um, and... Um, the reality is, like, uh, you know, we went to the Haunted Hayride the other day. Um, an unbelievable amount of thumbs down um, within the short period of time of posting that video because it was boring or it wasn't exciting and, and things like that. But it was for me. Um, and instead of having the thumbs down feature, you know, sometimes I think maybe we should just, you know, there's a, there's a way to just do away with thumbs down, thumbs up on your videos and comments altogether. I really enjoy the Cheap Seat community, and I hope that folks enjoy being a part of it, because I do feel, like especially when we meet folks out in the parks and, and concerts and all around, that it is really a great community. Um, but it's a shame that it feels like a few rotten apples always end up spoiling the bunch here. Constructive criticism is great. I love when folks have constructive criticism, or they suggest things, or tell me little nuances that I may not know that I could have covered in a video, or maybe want to follow up on at a later time. That stuff is fantastic. Um, you know, getting the same comments every day from folks about like, oh, uh, most boring thing ever, most of this. It's like Comic Book Man has come to life from The Simpsons, and I can only tell you that as a, a video creator, a content creator, there's nothing more frustrating than that. Um, do know that I appreciate the views, because ultimately the views are adding up, whether you like it or not and um, putting ad revenue in our pockets. So whether you downvote everything or not, it's still counting towards our views. I don't know if that frustrates folks more um, than not, but that, that's the way things work. So on that note, um, you know, just kind of trying to consider um, options, um, you know, and, and we've met so many wonderful people, amazing people, um, especially during this Halloween season out at the parks. Um, both at Halloween Horror Nights and at Hollow Scream and when we've gone to local places. It is amazing to uh, meet all the folks and get so much positive feedback from everybody. Um, so I don't want to ruin what is um, out there as far as the cheap seat community. It is amazing. Um, I do just want to take the time to be able to kind of address the trolls. Um, you know, and some folks are happy being trolls. Um, there's actually, I think, a new movie coming out about trolls, so maybe that'll like hit number one in the box office based off of some of the comments and feedback that we get. Um, but in any event, um, thank you everybody for watching. And if you don't like what you see, um, feel free. You can click on subscribe. You don't have to stay subscribed to us. We kind of follow that Howard Stern mentality of if you don't like uh, what you're listening to or seeing, change the channel. Um, but I do appreciate the folks that do stick around and are part of our lives. Um, and we're going to continue to keep showing you our lives the way that we're living them and um, doing what we want to do. And, um, you know, hopefully you guys dig it. So on that note, thank you for all of your likes. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.